At its launch, the Inspire One was a revolution. It turned tens of thousands of people into aerial filmmakers and now appears on professional film sets around the world. The Inspire Two builds on this foundation, empowering filmmakers to be more creative than ever, whether flying as a team or operating as a single pilot. A dedicated two-axis stabilized FPV camera with independently adjustable pitch gives the pilot a personal live feed, freeing the camera op to move any way they need to to get the shot. Top speed is boosted to 58 miles per hour, 94 kilometers per hour, and ascent and descent is also accelerated. This speed doesn't come without protection. DJI's unmatched flight autonomy system comes to the Inspire 2, bringing with it an extended range of close to 100 feet, meaning faster flight with protection from what it can see. It also adds an infrared sensing system placed on top of the Inspire, extending obstacle avoidance to obstructions overhead. The new dual battery design increases flight time hitting a maximum of 27 minutes when using the X4S camera, and also provides battery redundancy. Self-heating systems mean the Inspire 2 can be flown in extreme cold. The Zenmuse X5S Micro Four Thirds camera now has a 20.8 megapixel sensor with better pixel performance. It is capable of capturing 5.2K at 30 frames per second, as well as 4K at 60 frames per second. It also supports cinema DNG and ProRes recording. And you just kind of look at it and you go like, that's really small, but how can this little small thing give these big results? Normally I wouldn't think of it using a drone for normal shots, but it kind of made this really simple shot easily, you know, and looked great. And I'm really, I'm just, I'm telling you, I mean, I'm really picky. The Inspire 2 is DJI Focus compatible for precision focus control. A broad range of Micro Four Thirds lenses are also supported including zooms from 9mm to 45mm. The 45 is pretty beautiful on this camera. We use that a lot for close-ups and has a great depth of field and just makes me feel like, you know, that's kind of cinematic for me. The Inspire 2 image processor, known as Cinecore 2.0, offers Cinema DNG, ProRes, H.264 and H.265 recording onto a detachable PCIe SSD drive with a maximum read and write speed of six gigabits per second or a micro SD card. ProRes is a widely used delivery method for post-production, offering flexibility for editing while not compromising image quality. But to get the absolute most out of what you shoot, the Inspire 2 also captures RAW. Acquiring content on RAW just gives you more information uh, to work with in your post-process. The raw native Cinema DNG format gives you the most dynamic range possible of that camera. It basically takes full advantage of the sensor and everything that it can see. There isn't one shot that we compromised for detail, for color purity, for separation of images, for black, for low light detail, high light detail. Boy, I never could have told you that this particular footage came from a drone. It's just too good. New intelligent modes, including Spotlight Pro, and profile make cinematic shots easier for production teams and even for single operators. Spotlight Pro keeps the camera locked on the subject, rotating beyond 360 degrees to fix the target in frame as the Inspire flies. While profile mode turns the camera to capture the subject's profile as the Inspire flies forward. By maintaining forward flight, Obstacle sensing systems are able to protect the aircraft. The onboard FPV camera separates the flight view from the main camera view, effectively giving the Inspire 2 a dedicated tap fly camera. Just tap on the screen to fly in that direction and focus on camera control. During return to home, the primary camera with a maximum sensing range of 200 meters is used to effectively avoid obstructions. Live TV broadcasting has also been enabled natively through an optimized broadcast mode that streams smooth video at the 1080i50 and 720p60 live broadcast standard. The Inspire 2 brings better quality images, more power, and more intelligence to professional aerial filmmaking, setting the stage for more filmmakers to take to the sky.